Hi everybody, December is finally here and here's my week one sketches. As I mentioned previously, I was going to do some uh, more perspective type of work uh, as, as far as like uh, locations, in interiors, and uh, also exteriors. So this one is a, of a staircase, spiral staircase. There's a guy looking up here. It's a carpeted staircase, so there's a, a kind of a reddish rug. But also the, the railings are also kind of a mah might be mahogany. Here I am adding more uh, shading on the left side of the staircase. I didn't have the, the ink outlines of the steps on the left previously. Originally when I did the, the line work, but then I added uh, you know some shading there to give it more uh, to give it more depth. And it looks like kind of a mess now, but this is basically the patterns on the rugs. So I just added some yellows and browns and greens on there. And then um, adding more black to the uh, to the, the metal railings itself. And making the, the deeper staircases darker as well with, with additional black. Some additional refining with the with the white uh, uh, intense pencils, and then also with my white gel pen to give some highlights, especially on the on the metal railings and also the uh, the, uh, the the wooden part of the railing itself. Here I am going over with it with the uh, micron pen because some of the uh, some of the line detail got lost with the paint, so I touched it up with the micron pen. This spiraling effect really reminds me of the Hitchcock Hitchcock movie uh, Vertigo. Okay, here's another perspective uh, drawing of a uh, courtyard. You can see there's a hallway, uh, a dark dark hallway. You'll see th that I add more th um, the black to give it more depth. But the interior, I don't know what you call it interior. The uh, courtyard, the actual courtyard itself is, is I believe, is outdoors. So there's, you you see the all colored with the uh, greens on the on the inside. And then I made the uh, hallways itself more cooler with the blue colors here. And kind of giving uh, a blue strokes on on the uh, floor itself. This, so it gives it more of a like, a like a tile panel effect. And some of the yellow for the uh, highlights on the hallway. Just notice it kind of looks like a, a temple almost, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so there's the uh, the vaulted ceiling, giving it more black on on the uh, on the uh, areas that are receding away from the viewer, and also the the columns the columns itself. I, I give it dark green and black to so as to give it contrast between the uh, the lighted uh, um, grass area in the center. I like this one a lot. It didn't take me that long, but it, it, it went through like really easy for me. Okay, it's haiku time. As I mentioned last week, I believe, I said I was going to do the haikus mostly just in uh, pen, pen and ink. Well, also with the ink brush. Uh, this one is, first line is Victorian Spies. Yeah, because I wanted to decide to uh, brush up on my, uh, my drawing technique, especially inking. Because I noticed my... Especially my, my my brush technique, I was getting kind of lazy, and I wanted to uh, to be able to do smoother brush strokes without having to do like super fast. I noticed when I did it uh, slowly to get more detail, it kind of gave a, a kind of like a jittery effect on the brush strokes. So I've been trying to improve that as well. But also, you you'll notice I uh, add with the details with the micron pen zero zero. I usually use 003 size or 005 and I use those for the finer details here here this uh, this Victorian spy is on a beach background and the theme of this one is is a, is a steampunk uh, series of images of, of female Victorian spies because if you if you're not familiar with steampunk there is usually like in a Victorian age and it, and basically instead of electricity steam power is the uh, 
is their technology and they is sim a lot it's probably like more advanced than, than what modern day technology is so it's kind of a weird juxtaposition between uh, uh you know like like classical elements like gothic elements and also like, like future sci-fi stuff here you can you'll notice there's a uh, I've been doing a lot more black shadings well this one her dress is black so you'll see a lot of black but but in general I've been doing a lot more blocking out the uh, whole areas of black instead of just doing like uh, you know smaller like uh, shading with the gray so it gives it gives it a bit more of a pop for especially for a black and white drawing and this is kind of like a I would guess you would say she would be like a 1800 1800s uh, female James Bond and the second spy image is more of a um, kind of a more of a warrior uh, uh, power armor kind of look Victorian spies you say we take many forms and like I said this one is different form is a more of a powered armor effect but you know with the Victorian sensibilities he's still uh, this spy here is still wearing a, a a beautiful um, Victorian style dress but a little bit sh showing a little bit more than you know a typical modest Victorian but you know you know she's a spy but here you can see um, a bunch of the gadgets on her you see design you know but, you know especially if you've seen like people that dress up in, in steampunk cosplay they got like a bunch of tons of strange gadgets and stuff like that attached to their costume this one you can see like you know it can it looks like a uh, like weapons attached to her arm or maybe they're like like the uh, enhancements to improve like uh, arm strength or speed or maybe it's just armor okay now going over with the micron pens for the details and the shading I noticed I've been do, um, I didn't really do it on this one but I've been trying to do uh, more of like uh, steps like specific steps like the same steps when I'm doing the drawing <clears throat> Normally, I would start out with the with the with the brush pen as far as the outline, and then the second step. This one is actually the third step, but on the second step, I would do like the black shadows, and then on the third pass, I would do like the micron pen with the details, and then from there, I look at it and see what what I need to do. You know, if I need to do more uh, black shadows, or if I need to do more details on the on the brush pen, so I, I would then trade back and forth between the brush pen and, and the micron pen. Her dress is uh, her dress is uh, as a red. It's almost like a can can dress. You know, maybe she's doing the uh, the can can dance. This third spy is kind of in, in between the other two with the goggles and the uh, cigarette. Victorian spies, you say, we take many forms for Her Majesty. And obviously, that's uh, referring to uh, Queen Victoria, because these are English spies. And um, like I said, there's this one is kind of in between the other two has some armor but also um, um, more of a plain look is not as powerful looking as the uh, second image so this one I don't, I don't know maybe it's more of an infiltration type of spy this could I say this one is more similar to uh, like modern day spies you know, with the tight uh, cat suit outfit and stuff like that yeah she has some like armor on her shoulders and uh, like, a, like a, a duffel bag with equipment for you know, whatever spies need to uh, do infiltration breaking into places and let me know which one of the three is your favorite as far as the, either the drawing or or, or the uh, type of uh, spy uh, personally I like the second one the best um, I, don't know, I just like the, the um, I let me take that back I like the second one the best as far as the, the drawing I made but I like the uh, the first one as a, as more of the the uh, the uh, you know the uh, James Bond type of uh, spy in the in the ballroom or whatever. The third one's cool too. So yeah, you know, let me know if which, which one you think's the best. When I play games or RPGs, my uh, favorite type of character actually is a is a uh, like thief uh, infiltration type of uh, character. You know, like if I do like an RPG, like a Skyrim or something, or even like a pen and paper RPG, you know, I, I usually play like a thief type of character. 
So third one, maybe, you know, like, as far as like the type of character I like the most would be that one. All right, folks, week one is done. So let me know if you have any uh, specific requests. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.